Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to reduce fractions made of a binomial and a trinomial. Now, when it comes to a fraction made of a binomial and a trinomial, you have to remember that a binomial is two terms and a trinomial is three terms. Now, reducing a fraction with those two can be a little bit difficult depending on what they are because the terms themselves are separated by addition or subtraction, and reducing the fractions in those forms can be difficult. But there's a couple of ways to do that, if it's possible. Now, suppose if you have x plus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, in order to reduce a fraction made of a binomial and a trinomial, the terms have to be factorable. If it's not factorable, you cannot reduce it. That's really the fundamental rule. Now, in this case, we have to ask ourselves, with x plus 2, it's about as good as it gets from a factoring perspective, but is x squared plus 4x plus 4 factorable? Well, it actually is, because x squared plus 4x plus 4 is actually x plus 2 times x plus 2. The numerator has an x plus 2 as well. What happens here is that this x plus 2 will cancel with one of the x plus 2, since you're left with a 1, and then top, and you have 1 over x plus 2. That's an example of a fraction that is reducible with a binomial and a trinomial. But if you have something like this, if you have x plus 7 over x squared plus x plus 3, for example, this is not factorable, and this is about as not factorable either. And so what you have a case of a fraction that's kind of already in reduced form. This is not reducible any further. So when it, depending on what kind of terms that you have in a binomial and a trinomial, it's reducible only if the denominator has factors that will cancel with the numerator. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction on how to reduce fractions with the mon binomial and a trinomial.